Hi guys, um buhay. Welcome back to our channel. This is Efraim, your hardinerong kapitbahay. It's another day and another plan to discuss anong pang hinihintay mo. Tara, samahan mo ako at magkwentuhan tayo. Hi guys, um buhay. Welcome back to our channel. This is Efraim, your hardinerong kapitbahay. Magandang araw mga kapuso, kapatid, kapamilya at syempre mga kapitbahay. Today, we're going to answer one big question of growing cactus. The question is, why they make grafted cactus? Okay, so cactus propagation is commonly done by grafting, a process where a cut piece of one species is grown onto a wooden uh, piece of another. Grafting cactus plants is a straightforward method of propagation which even a novice gardener can try. Now, different uh, species work better with different methods, but a brief cactus crafting guide follows with basic instructions on how to graft a cactus. Now, cactus or cacti comprise some of, my, some of my favorite plants due to their uniqueness of forms, unusual characteristics, and a lot more. Marami silang mga kulay, marami silang mga itsura, marami din silang iba't ibang mga bulaklak. And propagation is through, grafti uh, through grafting, stem cutting, leaf cutting, even seeds or offsets ay ginagamit nila to make millions of or maraming kopya or maraming bahagi or maraming um, uh, multiple types ng ating mga cactus. Okay? Uh, or pagkaproduce ng maraming uh, cactus. Now, growing cactus from seeds is a long process as germination may be unreliable and growth is at medyo mabagal. Okay? Or it's at snail space. Okay? So, broadly, Cacti that do not produce offsets can be propagated by grafting as long as there is a compatible rootstock. So, ano ba yung rootstock na sinasabi natin? The rootstock could be this one. This is actually a rootstock that is a, that is, uh, a dragon fruit. So, maraming klase tayong pwedeng gamitin na rootstock. Another one, this one is a columnar type of cacti okay? or cactus kung saan it ginagamit din siya as one of the rootstock ng ating mga uh, cactus na ginagraft din natin. Now, broadly, cacti do not produce offsets can be propagated by, graf by grafting as long as they are com compatible with our root, uh, rootstock. Okay? The grafted part is called a scion and the base of the rooted part is the rootstock. Tapos, yun na rin yung nagsisilbing nagproproduce ng ating natawag na roots na yun naman ang nag a doon sa kanyang pinaka lupa or yung tinatawag nating substrate. Now, very important yung part na yun kasi nga uh, nagiging mas madali alagaan ng isang graft uh, isang cactus kung siya ay nakagraft. Okay? Now, cacti are grafted for a variety of reasons. Maraming mga reasons bakit ginagraft ang mga cactus. One may simply be to reproduce or produce a different species. Uh, but the process also produces disease-free stems. Kasi nga, yung mga ibang cactus kasi, nagkakaroon sila ng stems na kung saan yun naman ang nagiging um, point. Kung saan yun ang inaatake ng mga iba't ibang klase ng pest. Okay? Now also, it provides a new stem for an existing stem that is rotting. Lalo na pag masyado marami tayong nilalagay na tubig. Kung saan it introduces yung tinatawag nating rotting dun sa kanyang pinaka stems. Aside from that, it also enhances photosynthesis in plants that lack the ability of doing so. Especially yung mga tinatawag natin mga highly variegated type ng mga cactus. Okay? Now, grafting is, a common, uh, is common in fruiting plants because it increases the maturity of an existing cultivar for earlier fruit propagation. Now, on that aspect, Um, marami ang makikita natin na mas mabilis yung pagmamature ng mga cactus natin pag siya ay nakagra. Mas mabilis siyang lumaki at ganoon din naman, mas mabilis siyang magproduce ng tinatawag nating mga pops o yung mga maliliit na attachment doon sa ating cactus. Okay? Now, the root stock, uh, root stocks becomes the roots and base of the plants. Now, the union of the vascular cambium where the wounds of science and rootstock are sealed together to heal and join. So, what does it mean? Ibig sabihin lang nito, yung part na ito, kung makikita natin, ay yan tinatawag nating uh, area kung saan yun yung pinaka pinagdudugsungan or pinagjojoinan nung ating cactus at saka yung ating tinatawag na scion. Okay? Once the joining wounds have healed, katulad nito, okay, um, this particular cactus can simply, um, um, can, can simply grow 
na hindi natin masyadong inaalala yung tinatawag nating rotting nung kanyang pinaka stems. So napakadali na ngayon siya nating alagaan. Now, let me show you some of my previously purchased crafted cactus. At ito yung pinakita ko sa inyo last time nung tayo ay nag-unboxing. Nag, ano, nag okay, so let me start with what they call now as the Mammillaria gracilis um, CV Oruga Cactus. This is also known as the Timbal Cactus. Ayan. So this is our grafted cactus, the Mammillaria gracilis. This Mammillaria gracilis, as you can see, is um, small, uh, forms a small cluster with multiple offsets. Kung mapapasin natin, as you can see, even na hindi pa masyadong uh, matured yung ating uh, Timbal Cactus, nagkakaroon na siya ng maliliit na mga offsets na tinatawag natin. This is found in southwestern United States and Mexico. And this plant is very native in an arid environment. <clears throat> now, however, this one is a cultivated variety grown in a small stature and dense clustered spines. So, mahihirapan tayo dito magproduce kasi this particular type of cactus has a different, um, kasi sasabi nating um, pamamaraan para siya ay mag-grow at saka yung mga iba't iba nating uh, madali kasi siyang malusaw especially pag siya ay nabasa. Okay? Now, the Timbal Cactus enjoys lots of sun. Okay? The temperature and humidity of this cactus is best in high temperature and low humidity. And the ideal temperature of this particular Timbal, timbal Cactus is 70%, uh, 70 degree Fahrenheit. <coughs> now, water. They are built to withstand drought and most probably pag tayo masipag na mag water sa kanya, doon natin mas mabilis siyang or mas mabilis natin siyang mapapatay pag lagi natin siyang dinidiligan. But with this particular uh, ways or methods of crafting the timbal cactus, may iwasan natin yung pagkaroon ng ating rotting doon sa pinaka cactus natin na gusto natin i-propagate. Now, of course, the soil or roots of this particular plant should be gritty, sharply draining soil mix. Pero with this particular graft uh, scion na tinatawag natin, medyo hindi na tayo pwedeng, o hindi na, pwede na tayo mamili na hindi masyadong komplikadong mga uh, soil medium or substrate. Kahit siguro uniform na, basta pare-parehas tayo ng scion. Now, <coughs> The next one has, uh, the next one is, meron na kong tatlong klase. Okay, I will show you one by one. One is the Sulco, Revu, uh, Sulco Rebucha uh, Rauschai, or Rauschai. Okay, this is also known as the Sulco Strawberry. Okay, medyo nasa gitna kasi siya. Okay, so this is my Sulco Rebucha Rauschai. Okay, yeah. So this particular type of uh, sulco rebutia ay clumping din siya. Okay? At napakaganda ng kanyang color and as you can see nagkakaroon siya ng shade na kulay green na it is actually resembling to a strawberry. Ayan. The other one is the variegated sulco rebutia raustiae. Okay? And ito naman yun. Ayan. Parehas lang yan na klase ng ating uh, sulco rebutia. Okay? This one is called the, the sulco rainbow. So we have the strawberry and we have now the rainbow. Actually, this particular two types of uh, Sulco Rebusia, this one is the, the original one while this one is a variegated type of Rebu uh, Sulco Rebusia. Okay? Kaya kitpasin natin, napakaganda ng kanyang colorations at medyo um, ito isa ay dark, ito isa naman ay medyo may pagka light. Okay? Now, well, this particular kind of uh, sulco rebutsia na variegated ay medyo may pagkarir na konti compared with this one. And they're also forming a big cluster or groups of uh, sulco. Okay. The other type of sulco that I have here, actually dalawa nga yung nabili kong sulco, is called the sulco rebutsia uh, gerosinellis. Yan. Kung saan, mapapasin natin na they also resembles the same thing as these two. Pero mapapansin natin at very evident yung kanyang mga mabuhok na na, na or cottony na na para diyang ano parang hair. Okay? This is Sulco Rebutia uh, gerosinellis. So, para-para sila ng family pero magkakaiba sila ng genus. 
O mali pala. Magkapagpala sila ng kanilang mga species pero magkaiba sila ng kanilang mga genus. Okay, so I have here tatlong klase ng uh, sulko. Okay, now ano ba ang mga sulko? Sabi natin. Now, this is a miniature clustering species. Sometimes they are rarely solitary. Ibig sabihin, medyo sila ay uh, individual, kumbaga. So, mag, uh, siya ay nag-iisa minsan. Pero as you can see, they form no clusters. And the good thing about grafting this particular plant is that you could be able to have para isang malaking crampo, uh, isang malaking uh, colony sila sa top ng ating pinaka-grafted na na scion, or yung ating pinaka-scion or stems, kumbaga. Now, this one, of course, resembles primarily with uh, purple heads. Pero as you can see, they have a very short black spines. Well, as you can see, black spines yung kanya na uh, radiated. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, palabas yung kanyang pinakamaliliit na mga spines. Okay, that's why it's nice also to collect this particular reboot. Yeah. Although this is one is quite common, pero as you can see, wala naman tayong poproblemahin regarding with its survival. The other one is quite different because this one is brown in terms of the spikes. Okay, so spikes niya ay brown While this one is dark or black type ng ating rebusya Okay, now what else? Now, um, in order or in older plants tubercles Ibig sabihin ng tubercles Yun yung pinaka parang uh, dun lumalabas mismo yung pinaka uh, uh, Pinaka uh, Yung pinaka spines natin Okay, uh, they are actually spiring And sometimes they are merging in the apex So ano yung apex yung pinaka nasa taas Okay, next The other type is what they call now as the Notocactus scopa inermis Ayan, so pakita ko sa inyo ang aking Notocactus scopa inermis Okay, so pansin niyo Uh, napakaganda niya. Now, this is a small globus cactus. In age, it uh, in age it forms nice clumps. So, ibig sabihin lang ito, kaya mapapasin natin yung kanyang sayon, medyo may pagkalakihan at saka medyo makapal or bilogan yung kanyang pinakasayon. The reason behind that is, it really gives us a very nice clumping dun sa pinakataas. Lalo na when it starts now to produce its pops. Okay? And as you can see, This one is really a dark green type. Tapos, yung pinakamaganda dito is it forms primarily yung kanyang patterns na mga white na parang cotton or cottony. Uh, the good thing about this particular cactus, wala siyang tinatawag nating mga spines. Kaya, if you're going to have this one in your house or in your garden, definitely hindi kayo matitinig kung baga. So, because the, 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 the spines of this particular cactus are absent, And as you can see, you were able to see some flowering or some some ano, yung tinatawag nating mga white na na, na spots diyan. Na this actually small cottony type na na hairs kumbaga. Okay. Uh, the flower for this particular Notocactus scopa, uh, scopa inermis are usually light yellow with the stamens that is yellow and the anther which is a bright red or contrasting red. So, that's really nice for us to collect some of these cactus. And the good thing about this cactus na nag-grafted natin, um, maganda kasi yung kahit sila ay maliliit, they form really a cluster dun sa top ng ating pinaka-grafted uh, stems. Okay? So, guys, I think I give you already or I, I made you interested with taking care of some of the grafted cactus that I have. So, in the, in, the, in the latter period, siguro I could be able to show you pag nagkaroon na siya ng maraming pops at nagkaroon na siya ng mga clams para mas maging maganda ang ating discussion. So, I think that's all folks. You're watching Planting with Depp and Grace. Please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you may add to your list our epic page, Shimari Gracia at Tanglihim Nardin. If you have some related questions or some um, uh, ex uh, experiences regarding with our uh, cactus na nakagraph well, we really appreciate it if you're able to share that in our comment section. Okay? So, see you again next time for another time of magandang kwentuhan. Thank you very much and goodbye! September we met I can tell by your smile You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while Yeah, you were impressed Couldn't leave me alone 
text me every time that you pick up the phone And I had control in the driver's seat But my hands are slipping off the wheel Now the tables have turned